Hello everyone, this is Anne and this is my EDC. Hi guys, all right. That's our fancy camera work for the day. I thought I'd do a video talking about the things I carry every day. A few of these are super helpful and at least one of them you may not have heard of before or may not have thought of carrying and that is this right here. This is the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 2. And what's special about this is that it folds open. So let me show you what that means functionally. Suppose I'm looking at this web page and it just isn't big enough for some reason. I can open this up and there we have it, much bigger. This is great for a few things. First of all, on web pages where really the text just isn't big enough to be able to see everything. Also, it's very good if you are filling out a web form. Those web forms, a lot of times, they have a lot of fields and things can be running into each other. It doesn't work that well. And uh, this really can make things a lot better. Here is where this also really shines. I can have two screens or two windows open at once. I've got here a YouTube channel and my notes on something over here. I could use that to take notes, but also I could, for example, have a Word document open. And at the same time as I have that Word document open, I could be researching in the other pane. And I could be looking up different facts I want to include. I could be getting quotes that I can copy and paste directly in. It makes your cell phone way more functional. And honestly, I'm not a huge computer person, but I find that with the multiple windows and one more thing, I'm able to actually use this phone a lot more like a teeny tiny portable computer. But like I said, with the windows opening, um, or with the screen opening, it makes it big enough that you can actually use it. And this is the other thing I wanted to mention. Right here is the USB-C port. No big deal. That is obviously how the phone charges. But the benefit of this is that if you get a USB keyboard and connect it via a USB to USB-C connector, you can plug it right in there. I've had so many problems with Bluetooth keyboards. It just makes it not even worth it to me to use them. But with this USB keyboard option, really, the phone is like a computer. It is incredible if you are into cell phone based productivity. Next, I've got this amazing flashlight. I'm sure if you watch EDC videos, you have seen this before. This is the Rovivan A8. I will tell you a little bit about it, and I may actually do a video on this later because it's fantastic. But it is a regular flashlight. It has different modes, including a very bright setting. It has uh, somewhat lower settings that you can cycle through, and the moonlight setting. If you triple click, you can get a ultraviolet or a red, a flashing red, and a different flashing red. Okay, if you quadruple click, you will get a soft white room light, and then clicking again will make that brighter. That is actually a really nice function. I've used that on several occasions. Likewise, I have used the several ways you can hook this onto stuff uh, a number of times. So you can hook it onto your keys, so it's easy to carry the flashlight um, and your keys in the hand at the same time. But also, both this tail cap here and this portion of the clip here are magnetic. And so you can clip it onto stuff. Now, unfortunately, it also does stick onto things you don't want it to stick onto, like your Swiss Army knife or any other things that uh, stick to a magnet. Um, but nonetheless, overall, I found that to be really helpful and I've used that feature quite a few times. Now, what I've used more than anything, though, is this clip because you can hook it onto the brim of your um, baseball cap, and I actually put it on top, and it, it's a headlamp. It's incredible. I use this all the time. The other thing you can do if you're not wearing a baseball cap and if you have like a, a sleeve on a jacket, you can hook it right on there, and then you have light pointing wherever your hand is pointing. So you can still use your hands and get some light. Not quite as efficient, but it works well. So I carry that all the time and I use it all the time. Sometimes people say if you have a flashlight or a Swiss Army knife, you'll find times to use it. But I think that that gives the idea that you really don't need it, but you're kind of finding a way to use it so that you can feel good about carrying it. I don't think that's the issue. I think the issue is that there are plenty of situations that can be fixed easily with a flashlight or a Swiss Army knife, but a lot of times we just don't fix them. We just let them go because we don't have anything easily at hand to fix the problem. So then, <laughs> that's a good lead-in to the Swiss Army knife. Yes, this ginormous thing 
is the Swiss Champ. And I love this knife so much. I'm definitely going to do a review on this. I did put a bunch of snake knots on some paracord on here. And um, that is because I'm looking for a good way to carry this. Now, I love this so much, I will find a way to carry this that works for me. And when I do, I will make a video and let you know what that is. Let's just suffice it to say this I have used so many functions on. I think I must use it about 12 times a day since I've had it over uh, the past couple weeks or so. It is incredible. And now on these EDC videos, everybody shows their wallet. And this may not be a wallet you're interested in. That was exciting. My husband is working on the electrical. This is a Vera Bradley wallet. I like it because it has a zipper. I can keep coins. I can keep money. Nothing will get lost. It has space. It's just empty space does not make it easy to get cards out, but there is a separate little section here to where you can put like your driver's license or something that you want to show from the outside. And I have put cards that I use frequently in the back here so that they're a little bit easier to, to, uh, to find and separate out. I like that it has this keychain, which is really um, stuck on here well so that I can put it on a hook and I can actually carry all of this stuff except for the cell phone on my uh, Night Eyes key locker. Thank you so much for joining me today. Let me know if you'd like to see a video about any of these things, but you know what? I'm going to make a video about that flashlight and about the uh, knife anyway, so I guess let me know if you want to see a review of the cell phone.